Yo, what is good, everyone? It's great to be back on the Mayo Media Network. My name's Griffin Swanson, and I'm here to break down this Saturday, April 24th, NHL DFS slate with you. Now, we got nine games on this slate here. Take a look here in the top left-hand corner. Three of those games coming in with an implied total of six goals. The other six games there at five and a half. Take a look down here at the Vegas odds. Couple heavy favorites, Golden Knights and Dallas Stars sitting pretty nice. But outside of that, looks like we should have some pretty tight games as well. Now, before we dive into my favorite line stacks and individual plays, if you could hit that like and subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate that. And for you podcast people out there, you can find all the content for the Mayo Media Network over on the Apple Pods as well. While you're over there, leave a five-star review. And of course, I got to talk about prize picks here. For those of you who aren't familiar with prize picks, you got to check it out. Head on over to prizepicks.com. If you haven't signed up yet and you want to do so, make sure you use code MMN for up to a $100 match deposit. There's a number of different sports that you can compete in, but we're going to focus in on the NHL here. And there's really just four different ways that players can rack up points. Three points for a goal, two points for an assist, half a point for a shot on net, half a point for a block shot. And what Prize Picks is going to do is they're going to list out a handful of players for this Saturday slate and assign them to a fantasy score. You need to pick the over or the under on that fantasy score. And again, players can rack up points four different ways to meet the over or the under on that fantasy score. Now, outside of that, Prize Picks is going to list out a handful of single stats as well, some goalie save props and shot on net props for players. Feel free to check those out. Going to work the exact same way. You just need to pick the over or the under on those single stat props. Now, I got my eyes on a couple of prize picks here for Saturday. We list those out on the Mayo Media Network Twitter account. So if you want to see who I got my money on for Saturday, head on over there. We'll post those on Saturday morning. Again, if you haven't signed up yet or you want to sign up in the future, make sure you use code MMN for up to a $100 match deposit. But all right, folks, time to dive into the spreadsheet here for this nine-game slate. So kicking it off with my favorite line stacks here. The first line that I like is that first line out of Vegas. We got Stevenson centering Pacioretty and Stone. Look, Vegas is hot right now. They're on an eight-game winning streak, and they're really being led by this first line here. On top of their top three defensemen, Shea Theodore, Alex Petrangelo, and Alec Martinez. But you can see how well this top line has played. 13 goals, 19 assists, 32 points, and they're past 10 games and you can see they basically beat up on the Ducks this year who have allowed almost three and a half goals per game to the Vegas Golden Knights. So I like this first line in general. They play big minutes and all three of these guys play on the top power play. As long as they keep this heater rolling, they should beat up on the Anaheim Ducks. And again, I expect that to be led by this first line. The next line stack that I like here is going to be that first line out of Winnipeg. Shifley centering Connor and Blake Wheeler. Honestly, I like this game in general. I almost went with that first line here out of Toronto as well, which is Matthew centering Marner and Nick Felino. I didn't go there just because Felino's only played one game with these guys, but he is very cheap. I wouldn't be afraid to go with that line stack. But like I said, I love like this game in general, definitely some shootout potential here, but I like this line because they're complete. Blake Wheeler at $4,500 makes it pretty nice as well, but these guys play big minutes, play on the top power play, and have been solid over their past 10, combining for 10 goals, 17 assists, 27 points in their past 10. And the Maple Leafs goaltender, assuming Jack Campbell starts, has allowed at least three goals in each of his past five games. I know he went on that heater there a few weeks ago, but just hasn't looked like the same goaltender over the past five. So I like this matchup in general. I think we can run it a number of different ways. Uh, but I do like this first line here considering the opportunity they should get and the big minutes that they play. All right, now moving on down here to my favorite individual plays. We're going to kick it off with the forwards there. Austin Matthews, I just talked about how much I like this game in general, but this dude has been hot all season uh, over his past 10 games. That hasn't slowed down any. 10 goals, 6 assists, 16 points in his past 10 games. He's averaging about 5 shots per game as well, which is ultimately translated to about 22 DraftKings points per game over his past 10. Now on top of that, he's played really well against the Winnipeg Jets this year. 
Five goals, five assists, 10 points in seven games, averaging 21 DraftKings points per game. We know what to expect out of Matthews. Plays big minutes, plays on that top power play, obviously loves to shoot the puck. And again, I like this game in general. So he might be my favorite play overall. He's going to be a popular play and he is expensive, uh, but he's been on a tear really all season, especially over his past 10 games. Now, I almost went with Vinny Trocek here as my second favorite play. He's played really well against his former team, the Florida Panthers, racked up six goals in seven games, but I wanted to pivot away from that and give you a lower ownership play here with Elias Lindholm. I know Calgary hasn't played that great, really. I don't even know when's the last time they played good hockey, but Lindholm here has played solid. He's been one of the more consistent players really all season, has five goals, five assists, 10 points in his past 10 games, averaging around three shots per game, which is translated to 13 DraftKings points per game over his past 10, two times the value here of his $6,200 price tag. He's actually on a six game point streak right now and has racked up double digit DraftKings points in six straight games. I don't mind that first line with him, Johnny Goudreau and Matthew Kachuk. They haven't played all that great outside of Lindholm playing consistently, uh, but I don't mind it as a line stack. It is very affordable, and you'll see all three of those guys play on the top power play. But again, Lindholm's playing good hockey right now, and we can likely get him at low ownership. Next, we got Jason Robertson here of the Dallas Stars. The rookie continues to impress. Six goals, six assists, 12 points in his past 10 games, averaging around three shots per game, which is translated to 13 and a half DraftKings points per game over his past 10. Now, he's He's got double-digit DraftKings points in six straight games as well, just like Lindholm and eight of his past 10. Really good to see that. He plays big minutes, plays on the first line, plays on that top power play, and he's got five points in five games against Detroit this year, averaging 12.7 DraftKings points per game. So he just continues to play well. He's got a great matchup here, obviously, against the Detroit Red Wings, and until he starts to slow down, I'm going to keep putting him in my DraftKings lineups. I don't mind that first line with him, Hinton, Pavelski either. All three of those guys play big minutes and play on that top power play. And then speaking of guys who continue to impress, Connor Brown of the Ottawa Senators now has 10 goals in his past 11 games. Add two assists on top of that. He's averaging around 15 DraftKings points per game over his past 10. Just playing solid hockey, right? $4,400 is obviously very cheap. And the reason for that is because he plays on the fourth line and the second power play. Now, obviously, nobody wants to be rostering fourth liners in their DraftKings lineups, but he's still getting decent minutes. He's averaged around 18 minutes per game over his past 10. So that really doesn't concern me all that much. Um, decent matchup here against Vancouver as well. So at $4,400 for a low price forward option, for a guy that has 10 goals in his past 11 games, I'm not going to be afraid to go back to that. Moving on over to the defenseman here. Look, I do prefer to pay up for forwards on this slate, pay down for defensemen. That's why I have Lindell and Uyghur there. But we're going to touch on that in just a minute. I don't mind paying up for guys like Shea Theodore. This dude has played solid hockey as of late. Nine points in his past 10 games, shooting the puck like crazy, averaging around four shots per game, which is awesome for a defenseman, which is translated to about 14 DraftKings points per game over his past 10. This dude has 20, 25 plus point upside. We've seen that a handful of times in his past 10 games here. He's racked up double digit DraftKings points in seven of of his past 10. He's just playing solid hockey right now. Obviously a good matchup here against the Anaheim Ducks. He plays big minutes, plays on that top power play, and what he can do on the offensive side of the puck is really fun to watch, and he's been doing that a lot as of late. So if I do pay up for a defenseman, Shea Theodore is a guy that caught my eye. Next, we got Asa Lindell here of the Dallas Stars. Like I said, I prefer to pay up for forwards on this slate, so I'm going to have to find defensemen in the 3 to 4K range. These are two guys that stuck out to me. Lindell here has played really well over his past 10 and just been a solid defender all season. He's racked up one goal, five assists, six points in his past 10 games. Doesn't shoot the puck all that much, about one and a half shots per game, but he is not afraid to block shots. Averages about 2.2 block shots per game or has over his past 10. All those numbers have translated to 9.7 DraftKings points per game over his past 10, two times the value here of his $4,400 price tag. Averages around 22 minutes per game, so solid minutes there. Does play on the second power play and plays on the penalty kill as well. So he's just one of those defenders that can rack up DraftKings points in a number of different ways. Like I said, double-digit DraftKings points in six of his past 10, so we've seen proof of that, and he's got a great matchup here against the Detroit Red Wings. Now, it's kind of odd how close Weir's 
numbers are actually to Lindell over their past 10 games. And actually, Uyghur gets on the score sheet a little more frequently or has this year, racking up 25 points in 46 games compared to Lindell's 15. But both these guys have six points in their past 10. Don't shoot the puck all that much, but they're not afraid to block shots. And just like Lindell, Uyghur's averaging close to 10 DraftKings points per game over his past 10. Now, he doesn't play on the power play. He did sneak on there a few games ago. I don't think we're going to see that all that much, but he does play on the penalty kill. So again, he can block shots, rack up DraftKings points in a number of different ways, and obviously can get on the score sheet pretty frequently here too for a guy that doesn't play on the power play. So for $3,500, a guy that can get you double-digit DraftKings points and play solid minutes, Uyghur's a guy that stuck out to me. And then I got a couple of goaltenders there for you. I, I guess three, because I'm not entirely sure who is going to start for Vegas, uh, but both Flurry and Leonard are $8,500. So it works out for the spreadsheet here. Now look, I know they're expensive, um, but Vegas is playing really good hockey right now. They're on an eight-game winning streak, and they're 6-1 and one against the Ducks this year. You can obviously see minus 250 on the money line, the biggest favorites on this Saturday slate. So uh, I do like these guys. I'm not afraid to pay up for them. You really just hope that Anaheim shoots the puck enough so they can rack up DraftKings points, but I do expect Vegas to get the win here, and both these guys have played solid against this team all season. And then if you want to save a little dough, you can do that with Matt Murray here. Now, I know that's scary. Murray has not played great this year, but since returning from injury, he has been solid here for the Senators. You can see the numbers there. He's 3-1 and one in his past four starts, racking up 11.9, 26.1, 17.2, and 31.7 DraftKings points in those four starts after returning from injury. So again, I know it's a bit scary, uh, but he is really cheap here at $7,000 probably more of a GPP play for me, but if you're desperate and need to save money, I think his numbers here over his past four are enough to convince you to put him in cash. Uh, but yeah, again, probably more GPP for me. And as always, wrapping up the video here with my low-priced option or sub 4K forward play. If you've been watching my videos on my channel, the Griff Dog DFS channel, I've highlighted Bennett here quite a bit since joining the Florida Panthers. Uh, he's playing well. Hard to ignore him. He's playing on that second line right now with Duclair and Uberdo. I don't mind that as a line stack. A tougher matchup against Carolina, though. And now he's mixing in on both power plays. Not just the second, but that top power play as well. He's got three goals, two assists, five points in four games with Florida. Uh, again, I really like that second line with Uberdo and Duclair, so I like the players he's playing with. And you can see his DraftKings points here in his first four games with Florida. 11.5, 14.5, 23, and 1.5. That was last game against Carolina. Like I said, it is a tough matchup, but at $3,300, it is hard to ignore the numbers he's put up with Florida so far. All right, everyone, that's going to wrap up the video here for this nine-game Saturday slate. Thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch these videos. I do appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to the Mayo Media Network. They're posting content all week. You don't want to miss out on any of that. Again, if you're going to be signing up for prize picks, make sure you use code MMN for up to a $100 match deposit. And if you want to see who I got my money on for Saturday, head on over to the Mayo Media Network Twitter account. We'll post those there on Saturday morning. But again, thank you all for taking the time to watch this. Let's have a great day. Let's have a great weekend. Let's win some money on this nine-game slate. I'm out of here.